Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the FOW special event before stardom. This is Stalingrad. And I'm alongside my broadcast partners, of course, Scotty Bear. Welcome, sir. Hey, it actually looks nice around here, finally. Oh, we yes. Got a change of scenery. Brooklyn, New York. We're in Brooklyn. But we're not alone there, Scotty. We got our third man on the board. It is Mark Donovan. It's good to be back. My second event here in the Bronx with you gentlemen. Ready to get it on. It's Stalingrad, guys. Thank you, dude. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. As you can see, the FOW logo just sitting there just for a second. And we're about to get ready for our very first contest of the night, which, of course, is Pac taking on Chris Stewart one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Also, funny story to tell you guys. I was just out at, you know, the steakhouse here earlier, like in Florida in my home of homes. And I see this belt just laying out in the middle of nowhere. And I take it and pick it up. It's like, oh, this, this would look cool to bring to the show, you know. And then <clears throat> right as I'm driving, it's starting to s smell of the bubbly for some reason. I don't know why. So I just chucked it out on the side of the highway because it smelled so nasty. I thought yeah. that was you pulled over on the side of the highway when I was on my way to the arena. I guess uh, somebody found his belongings. I, whose belongings? Certain bell. Wait, what, what, was was that? I think it was. I think it was you, man. I didn't steal it. It was, it was just right out there. I'm, I'm not labeling you. I'm just saying, but it was right there. Just like, oh, hey, hi, it's me. I'm a, I'm a belt. Can't believe. Was that really hip? Was that really? What? You know, speak, speaking of that, guys. Some of the talent here tonight in FOW looks to steal the competition, steal the night with some of this great action we're going to see. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, first things first, though, guys, before we even get to the ringside and to the action, Chris Stewart and and Pac, I mean, this this is something that, you know, Pac has been wanting a, a, a match as of late because he hasn't been involved with the Bantamweight Championship, but Chris Stewart's getting an opportunity against one of the the bigger guys in the company. Indeed. Pac, very much one of the speedierest men in the division. But going up against a heavyweight of Chris Stewart's size, it's going to be interesting to see how he pulls it off. Is Chris Stewart going to be playing maybe a different card tonight than he usually does? Is he going to switch his game up? Because, I mean, Pac, he's got tape on him now. So it, it can be easy to figure out maybe a weakness of Chris Stewart. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, Mark, I know you're you were newer to the broadcast uh, team, but uh, what is your thoughts last week on Chris Stewart? Chris Stewart impressed me. I liked what I saw. This is a David and Goliath story tonight, guys. You got one of the premier athletes in FOW and Pog taking on one of the strongest and quite frankly, one of the hottest blue chippers in the company. This is going to be a war. And also two of the danger, most dangerous competitors, excuse me, guys, in FOW. I'm really looking forward to this one. Oh, yeah. And not just that, but in our main event, it's Aleister Black versus somebody we do not know who. It's just the challenge laid down. Some, some, it was over. It was some, something about social media. And Aleister Black has been going up against all these legends. You know, you have Sting, Kane, Undertaker, um, and uh, speaking Undertaker, he faces him at stardom inside Hell in a Cell. Now, who could be that quote-unquote legend that's coming out to face uh, Aleister Black? It can be very, very much deceiving to see how Aleister Black has been defeating and destroying these legends. So whoever comes out to the plate has got to have a game plan ahead of time. He's got to be brilliant on his feet and be a very intelligent man. With those keys in mind, anything is possible with Alistair Black. He can hit you with almost anything. And it's going to be interesting to see how Alistair Black takes on this legend coming up here shortly. Yeah, coming up here shortly, um, it's a wonder that... Uh, you know, we're, we're here at one of the biggest uh, events of before stardom, 
And what match are you looking forward to the most, uh, Mark, since you're new to the, the team? It's got to be Chris Stewart and Pac, like we're saying. But in my opinion, guys, talking about Alistair Black, this man's been on a path of destruction. All roads lead to The Undertaker. Who could it be? It could be anyone. All the twists and turns in FOW over the weeks. If I was a betting man, I don't know. I saw the Mountie back in here earlier. And evil, evil uh, Brian Adams back there. It could be anyone, though. It's a toss-up, guys. But whoever it is, they better bring the heavy artillery tonight if they want to stand a chance against Aleister Black and the Black Mass. I also saw the Booty Man out there, too. He was really, really nice. He got some 8x10s. He was very cordial, and good to see him. Yeah, indeed. Good, and indeed, I know this is a long process, um, but we're just getting ready for the show. We're just talking a little bit about the matches upcoming and a little bit of stardom, but that, that's, that's okay, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we have many things coming up here shortly, ladies and gentlemen. Stardom is just a football toss away from coming down the pipeline going to be great it's going to be interesting and we all hope that it's going to be awesome oh hell yeah and we're about to get go underway actually in just a couple seconds ladies and gentlemen as you can see this is it brooklyn new york live and uh with alongside me mark donovan and scotty bear who's been with me since the very beginning day one ish I do. This place is this place is hanging for the Raptors, guys. As I can barely hear you. I know it. I know it for sure. And uh, if nobody is too familiar with who who the the person is on the left of Chris Stewart, well, his right, it's Paul Ellering, and the other one beside him is actually his son Chase, who is uh, following in the footsteps of the the rookie Chris Stewart. Dude's getting gains up in here. IOD up in the hood. We're looking at a sprightly Chris Stewart of revigored Paul Elring and the kid, too. My God. It's going to be interesting to see how these guys pretend or go on in the future of this promotion. It's going to be interesting to see how the kid faces off against many of the stars of FOW tonight. Almost oh, definitely. Um, now, uh, Scotty, I will. I do have a question for you. Are you excited about Chase's debut in just a few weeks' time? It's going to be great to see this kid try his best to go out there and win some matches like his daddy. I'm. I am a little concerned about his future as well because he's got some big shoes to fill. I'm betting he can do really, really well, and I'm betting we will see some five or six star matches out of this kid but well, winning matches that might be a little different i don't know guys for someone who has so little experience he's awful cocky and i feel like that could be a detriment that could cost him and i feel like cockiness is something a paul ellering would tolerate but man he's embracing it here are they teaching this kid the right way it will be the ultimate question i know i mean look at paul ellering so sprightly tonight i can't believe it I mean, he's been jumping on, on top of the, the second rope here in front of us. I mean, uh, Paul Ellering's looking like, like he's in great shape, great form. Out there yeah. acting like it's 1986 again. Very limber for his age, doing DDP yoga, guys. Great shape for a man his age. I mean, we, got, we almost have war games, Paul Ellering, over here. Indeed. That's true. That's true, but here's his opponent coming out here tonight. And it is Pac. Pac, the man who finally, finally got to debut in AEW a few days ago. And now is on the stage, the main stage here at Stalingrad. A win over Kenny Omega. Has Scotty, a, a, a successful Pac as well, we forgot to mention, riding that momentum. Indeed. Pac winning his last match against Kenny Omega one of the top stars of AEW. And now he's here, ready to destroy everything that is his path. It's gonna be interesting to see how he continues that momentum going forward to this match. And, and not just that, but uh, Pac is one of those guys that will eventually take Chris Stewart to, the, to, to school, in my opinion, in this match, because uh, 
no doubt about it, Chris Stewart is a rookie in the game. I mean, he isn't a former underground fighter, so that's something to look at. But the bell is about to ring, and we're about to get this ready. Indeed. And a different you referee, by the way. Oh. A different referee, by the way. He is, this guy is Japanese. His name is... Uh, uh, I forgot his Ricky name. Ricky Fukuoka. Oh, that's it? Oh, Jesus. And it's not the former referee that you hate either. They're, uh... Thank Scotty. God. Well, Ricky Thank Fukuoka God. and I, we go way back. He's had his fair share of uh, matches under his belt. Experienced senior official. Good to see him tonight. Indeed. I mean, he's no he Earl Hebner. I know. I think I've seen him in Japan a few times. Guys, we're focused on the official, but Pac is eating lefts and feet all over the place here. Could be in trouble. Indeed. Uh, well, but that is what Pac Chris Stewart is. He's Could a be big trouble in Little China. Oh. Ooh. Uh, see, Chris Stewart's usually, what I notice is he's, uh oh, hang on. Ooh. Chris Stewart, uh, as I was going to say, is he's all about the strike game, but he can pull out some unorthodox. Oh. Man, oh man. Got to give it to Pac, though. Hanging in there with the big man, guys. Indeed. Pac still getting that steam going. Oh, oh that oh chokeslam's going to stop God. the train easily. My what? goodness. Oh. He just ran into a brick wall that hit back. That's a it big man. It wasn't just a brick wall that hit back. It was a brick wall that just threw him to the ground. Uh oh dirty pen. Why? Ooh. What? Chris Stewart. He's... A little dirty tactics here for the first time. Surprising desperation there, Scotty. Already. Indeed. There it goes with an arm bar. It was really too close to that rope. But that's what that's what Paul Ellering is going to eventually teach uh, Chris Stewart is uh, a little cheating is not a bad thing. A that's true. Cheating. We know you, me, and Pac, Wayne, we go way back years ago to Hibiki Pro, one of the longest reigning cruiserweight champion there of all times. Definitely no stranger to dirty tactics to retain a title or win a match. Exactly. Indeed. If Pac, he's got to start getting that momentum back. Chris Stewart has been pretty much been equalizing this match and putting it in his favor. Yeah. And then again, running to the ropes in that drop kick to the side of the face. Pac is eating it, though. He keeps getting up and look, battling. He's got to break down the big man. I, I really want to say that Chris Stewart has gotten like 88% of this match going on so far. Yeah, and I'm shocked. And it's yeah. going to be turning into 90. My God. Power bomb. Oh, my God. What, what impact. One. Ooh, the Pac kicks out at one. What a testament to Pac's resiliency there, guys. That was no joke of a move. Exactly. Chris Stewart has been in control of this match 88% of the time. Guys, if I had scorecards, I'd have Chris up there about 5,000 and Pac at about 26 right now. Oh, and another one of those trick slams. Jeez. How many of those is the human body able to take, guys, before enough is enough? Uh, I say seven. It's a good bet. Yeah. Oh, there's a knee kick. Oh, the oh. spinning kick there. Pulling something out of Chuck Norris's playbook. Yep, Chuck Norris. And now dragging him to the ring, uh, the middle of the ring. What is Chris Stewart going to do? Oh, oh. oh my mm. God. That Teddy Hart level of moonsault there by Chris Stewart didn't go well. Oh. Ooh. Guys, ah. Chris Stewart has impressed me so much. What a hybrid type competitor. Oh, yeah. He's going for it. That modified rings of Saturn. Be it. Oh, Chris powering out. He got the fingers Ooh. low. Does it? No. And that elbows to the side of the face on the temple. You don't want to go to the ground game with Chris Stewart, guys. No, no. You, you don't. Now look at that tornado, like, Superman punch. Mm. Uh oh, what's Chris doing now? I don't know. You know how he is. Oh, He's always God. going for these Here maneuvers. Unhinged. Drop oh, elbow drop. One, two. Oh, oh. That was all impact on the ribs and sternum area. Yeah, Pac is one of those guys that it takes a hell of a lot of maneuvers to keep him down. 
It's getting bottom of the ninth here, Wayne. What's your keys to victory if you're Pac here looking to get something going, a little rally maybe? Uh, well, if I, if I was Pac, I would try to get the big man down and keep him down. But then, Just then like that. Yeah, but then again, you've said it before. You don't want to do the ground game with Chris Stewart. Oh. You need that momentum to get it going. It looks when like he's building to, some. When you're able to get that momentum, the speed and the violence come along with it. Exactly. That was a beautiful crescent kick right on the money, right on the jaw. Stewart rocked him. Oh, look at these punches. Oh, that kick in the midsection. And oh man, look at these boys go. Oh. It's going for something here. Uppercut. Mm. Uh oh, Rose lines him out. Looks like he's maybe going for that signature dive. Be a mistake though, give Pop time to, to catch his oh. breath. Gets it over quick and easy. Oh man. Looking Look. like The Undertaker from WrestleMania 25. Oh, hell yes, he did. Wow. Guys, Wait. this is just the start of Stalingrad tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. And the, what a match so far for these two men. Chris Stewart, mainly because he's been hitting all the shots and hasn't done a lot of rookie mistakes. But the taunting might be. Oh, oh. the honor roll net breaker. One, two, ooh, only a two count. Chris Stewart has to be looking at doing that backbreaker he's so well known for. Oh, but a cutter by Pac. Nice. But Chris Stewart Jeez. rolls up right out like it didn't even phase him. Well, no, mind games not. here, that mouth. Oh. Indeed. Another drop kick I mean, Chris Stewart. I mean, I, I, I like to say this in, in the NFL mainly, but if, if something's working, continue to hit that maneuver because it, 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 at some point, it's going to help you win. Oh, uh -huh. that kick did damage on oh, the baseball slide kick. Jesus. Uh, Pac is wanting Chris Stewart to get up. He wants He's to fight. He's fired up. Oh, he's rolling out. Oh, looks like some clotheslines here. Oh, oh, that kick. Oh. Oh. We got a cut. Well, it's wheelhouse, oh, guys. Cut. He's busted One, big two. time. Ooh, mm. Misses that punt kick. Oh. The reversing game is big time tonight. Oh, no, he hits a stroke. Oh, right hits the a stroke. Is that going to get it? Oh, no. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. Chiropractor. Oh, but he's oh. too close to the ropes. Oh. What an awful break for Chris, guys. The rookie Man. mistake for not rolling him in the middle of the ring. Could come yeah. back to haunt him. It definitely could. And you saw that judo throw and just going for another one, cover. Two. Oh, oh, so close with that three. Slips out the back door again. Uh, Pac is... Proving something here tonight with all these uh, kickouts. I mean, he's busted open so badly, and he's still fighting back. I give it to both men. Attacking him in the calf. Guys, Pox yeah. been working those legs all match. It looks like it's finally where oh, he's so for it again. Good rings of Saturn. It's gonna Rings of Saturn. The modified Rings of Saturn took Mark, out this could be Omega. It. Is he gonna get it? Scotty, Mark, oh. this could be it. Uh oh, no, he's getting him. Oh, Chris Stewart out. Too much left, left in the big man, guys. Wow. Man. What a match. Pop just doesn't have the strength left this deep in the match. Oh. Went for another oh. cutter. Oh. That breaker Whew. there by Chris Stewart. What a match. The fans definitely oh. getting their money's worth already in this opener. I have a belly belly. One, two. Oh. oh my god. I thought he had him. I thought that was it, guys. I need to see a replay. I need to see a replay on that. I need to see a shrink. I'm going nuts from all the action in this federation. I, I know. Small package. Roll up, small package. Come in. One, two. Oh, so close oh. to that small package. Oh, cock. Oh, gosh. 
Owen yeah, for Ricky Fukuoka definitely working hard for that money tonight with all these falls, guys. Oh, oh it's that Chuck Norris kick again. Got to be it. He's got to go for Can't it now. Cannot capitalize right away. Chiropractor. There it is. One. Here it comes. One. Two. Oh. oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. How on earth did Pop kick out? That's the first person that's kicked out of the chiropractor. Oh my gosh. Chris Stewart's got to be wondering oh, how. What do I got to do? Three. Oh, so close with that three. He better go to Home Depot and buy a kitchen sink real fast to use it. That would have also caused a disqualification. <laughs> Big Anyways. time. Anyways, Mark, what has what Chris Stewart got to do to make Pop just give up this time? I don't even know, but I don't even know if Chris Stewart would need a weapon. He's a lethal weapon in himself. <laughs> Are we talking I'm lethal speechless. weapon one or lethal, or lethal weapon two? We're talking lethal weapon Steve Blackman. Pop can get counted out here if he's not careful. I mean, this is a safe bet for Chris Stewart. Oh, but he oh, misses. Oh, and Pac goodness. reversed it. Now Pac could get the count out victory, but no, Chris Stewart's already getting up. There's too no, much man. left. Like I said, guys, Pac's oh. way lower on fuel here. Yeah, but just drags out uh, Pac out of the ring here. Uh, oh. oh! His hit, hit bounced off the apron. Oh, my you God. You hear that impact skull hitting the steel of the apron. He's got to kick it. Just he, 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 it's over. Just go in there yeah. and pin him now. Oh, this has oh. got to step in this here at some point, drug. guys. Yeah, but Pop just keeps fighting back, Mark. It Ow. is. Up the chops, the punches. Oh, oh no, is he going for it again? Oh, clothesline to Pop on oh, the outside. Going for it. Pac just cannot learn to not go blow for blow. Oh my God! Oh my God! Good. God almighty, Chris Stewart flying like a cruiserweight, guys. Man, I told you, he's going to pull something out of the bag, and that was one thing. And that was it. That was the rabbit in the hat, Scotty. Uh, Chris Stewart. Isn't done. The better of it. That's the Maybe rookie mistake. Maybe he's not going to get it. That's a rookie mistake, in my opinion. Big time rookie mistake. Should have went for the cup. Oh, well, oh, maybe he knew something we drag. didn't. Arm drag. Misses the kick. Those were. Another those drop were kick. Man. Chris Stewart has got to be careful now. Oh. Small package. One. Oh, two. Th oh, so oh. close. Pop kicked out again. How? Chris Stewart needs to go high impact move now and put it away. Oh. Oh. Chuck Norris him again. He's got to finish him. He's got to pull something else out. He hit three so far. Three. Is he going for the chiropractor again? It has to be. Gotta it be is. Oh. Chiropractor. Three chiropractors, guys. One, two, three. Chris Finally. Stewart. Wow. What a match. What, what, what an ending. And what a performance by Pac as well, guys. you got to give it to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he had the rings on rings of Saturn twice. But Chris Stewart, somehow, even though he's a rookie, he just finds some way to capitalize and get the victory in the end. I mean, uh, it, it's insane. It is. It, it's that fighting spirit. Chris and Pac have figured it out. They got that spirit. They got that stamina. They got the rolling thunder and the power in their veins. Lifting their hands up, feeling the power of the Hulkamaniacs, and are doing some crazy shenanigans. I would love to see this match again. Not going to lie. I got a feeling we have not seen the last of these two guys. I feel like Pac's going to be back with a vengeance someday. Oh, most definitely. It definitely could be... Uh, but Chris Stewart is uh, moving on with another victory. He's still undefeated, um, and I'm, I'm happy for him. I mean, he keeps it going. He keeps the winning streak going for not just himself, but for Paul Ellering and his son, Chase. The first family of FOW, guys. Definitely. The actual first real family. 
of FOW. Man. Just insanity, my dudes. Definitely insanity, but up next we do have the main event of Stalin, Brad, and ladies and gentlemen, who is going to face Alistair Black in the main event? Do you guys have any predictions on the legend or whoever it could be? I, I don't know. It could be anybody from the back. I mean, it could be the booty man. It could be somebody from Alistair Black's past. I don't know. It's 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 up in the air for anybody and anybody to enter this thing in. I mean, good God, it could be anybody. It definitely could be anybody, you know, at, at this point. But I do love the, the Stalingrad um, video package we had for tonight. But here it is, Mark and Scotty. It is time for the main event of our special event. This is downright our velocity this is our sunday night heat and i think it's a hell of a lot better than those two shows put together guys is it cold in here or is it just me because alistair black doesn't care what show it's on he is ready to decimate whoever may be in front of him it's true i mean he can we name the legends uh real quick Scotty, you know him. Kane, Sting, Tatanka. Tatanka. Who else? I mean, Perry Saturn, if you want to call him a legend. A veritable who's who, guys, of legends past. And not just that, but he defeated the Big Show last week in Steel Cage in the main event. I was honored That's to be a part precedent. of it. My first assignment for FOW, witnessing that match with the Big Show. And you got to think, if he does it to a man that size, who could possibly step up and chop down the Redwood known as Alistair Black? Who would have the right axe at this point? No one, in my opinion. This man's unstoppable. In my opinion, guys, Alistair Black's just on his path to the heavyweight title eventually. Oh, definitely. I mean... He could have any title. This man is a variable who's who of <clears throat> legends. He's defeated former WCW champions. He's defeated former WWE champions. I mean, anything and everything is open to this gentleman right now to to just take. He could take Shawn Michaels to the limit. He could take Finn Balor to the limit. He could take AJ Styles, Cody, any of those gentlemen to the limit. And this man is is going to be unstoppable. Yeah, but who's his opponent? Ah, this, this can't be. Come on. How did he get here? No way. Randy Orton, the legend killer. How did how did Jim Tunney get this gentleman here? How? I don't know. Mark, Mark uh, you know a lot about Randy Orton. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a legend, not a legend killer. Well, give it to the man. He's been doing this for well over a decade. Definitely a modern legend, I'd say. And a man that doesn't really need to do his homework. He's so naturally gifted. He can literally step in there with virtually knowing nothing against who he's going against and hang toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Randy Orton is one of the best in the game, guys. Cannot believe he's here. Well, my thing is, so far uh, right now, is Aleister Black has been known as kind of like a legend killer since joining FOW. So now he's got to go up against the guy who created the name Legend Killer and Randy Orton. Think about this. He's Could we see a bass sports got it. I mean, it's anything. This man has defeated legends after legends. He's punted people in the head. He's destroyed lives. He has destroyed families. He has done almost anything to get to the top. And, I mean, it stands to reckon. A legend killer versus a legend killer. What real legend will be dead tonight? From pooping in deep bags to spitting in the late Harley race space at ringside, Randy Orton will do whatever it takes to win. Be the, for bragging rights, it doesn't matter. It's all about competition for Randy Orton, guys. 
gonna be insane. Well, maybe this is also something to prove against Aleister Black, knowing that he is the real legend killer. Oof. Oh. Almost went for an RKO there. Orton let him know who he's in there with. Oh, yeah. He wanted Aleister Black to know right off the bat, you're not going up against a washed up uh, competitor. I'm still in my prime. I'm still here. I'm still active. Ah! Oh. Oh. And I think he's just throwing him up in the air to tease Aleister Black of the RKO and come out of nowhere. Indeed. Ooh. Oh, STO. What, what are your keys to victory, Scotty uh, and Mark, uh, for Aleister Black against Randy Orton? If, if you're in Randy Orton's shoes, you have to be aware of Aleister Black's kicking game. That's going to be the most effective thing. Take out his legs. Take out his knees. Those are going to be the key essentials of his game. He can't hit a fade to black or black mass if he is in, is unable to use his knees and his legs. RKO! RKO! Wow. Wow. One, out of nowhere. Two. Oh. Uh. Alistair Black is looking shook, unfocused, the worst we've ever seen him in FOW, guys. This is not the Alistair Black we have seen lately. No, no, it's not. No, it, it's definitely... Oh, Fade oh. Black! Oh, we go from an RKO Soon, to Fade in Black. Soon as I say that, Wade, oh, my God. Two. Oh. <laughs> we go from RKO out of nowhere to a Fade to Black out of nowhere. Huh? Both these guys Jeez. kind of pulling out the gloves and slapping each other's face, letting them know who they are. Oh, brain buster. It's monkey see, monkey do. I think this is a, more of a proving main event. Prove each other who's better. Indeed. And here's that same submission that actually made Tatanka tap out also, but Orton did not. Guys, I feel like we got stardom now. This is just a high as caliber match as we're going to see with The Undertaker with Randy Orton here. Only on Stalingrad, guys. Exactly. Only in FOW and like a Habiki Pro will you see this action. Man. Jeez, this... I don't know. Randy Orton is one of the finest wrestlers out here. And he's taken almost their black to the limit. We haven't seen a legend really do that in quite some time. Oh. Oof. Uh, no, we have not. Also, none of us have brought up the point, guys. Randy Orton wasn't in the cage match last week either. We don't know how healthy Aleister Black was going into this. No, I mean, Indeed. how many times did he dive off the cage? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Did Good he just Lord. hit his own RKO? Lord. I cannot believe what I just saw. Oh, that is disgusting. Out of That's disrespect. It's called survival, Wayne. Oh, and now the mind games, Mark. It's mind games. It's always been about mind games with Almister Black. When you're facing off against somebody like Almister Black, you have to know that these these mind games are going to be played out easy. Oh, and here it comes. That I second see. rope. That wow. second rope DDT is always so nasty. It always is, and Randy Orton is not a dummy. He's not a rookie. What? Oh, jeez. He kicks Dr out. Kicks out at one. Not even one. I think it's a fair assessment, oh. too, Scotty. Both these guys have made their career off of mind games. Is that going to cancel each other out just because they're both so good at it? Well, you see, with Randy Orton, his mind games are more vocal. Uh -oh. He's very inspirational with his mind games. RKO! Good Lord. Out with of one, nowhere. Two. Oh. Oh. Two RKOs. One, but two RKOs. But with Almister Black, his mind games are more visual than anything. RKO! Another RKO! One. Two. Oh. What? That's it. I jumped out of my seat. I thought that was <laughs> it, guys. Just... How are these two men just still able to go toe for toe? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh Jesus. God, the lower back. That'll end your career in a hurry. I'm starting That's... to think uh, Mark is right, though. This is this is just a taste of... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But he's on the, the outside. Black. That's not where he wants to hit that. 
But he could get the count on victory for sure. This is definitely a start of just Alistair a teaser. I think Black wants the count out victory. I think Alistair Black would rather roll him in the ring and just, just do it the real way. This is definitely a teaser of, of stardom, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely... Wait, I don't know if I'm going to make it to stardom. I can't keep up with this promotion. <laughs> well, you better get used to it. This is it, this is like college to NFL. Oh, my gosh. Knee in the midsection of the Randy Orton. A little adjust there. He miscalculated first, but very versatile with that. Getting that knee in, Scotty. Indeed. Man. I mean, after three RKO's from out of nowhere, how how is all Mr. Black still standing? This man is just not human. This man not. is someone immortal. Jeez. Oh, Ooh. there goes another one. Snake out. Another RKO. RKO. Four. Four. This has got to do it. Oh, what? He kicks out of two. Not even two. It was one. That's, that's it. That's it. How the hell? What is, supplements are these guys on? Good Lord. How is this? These supplements are not just any supplement. This is the fighting spirit of these two men going oh to battle. They're at war with each other now. This isn't just any sort of game that they're playing. This is God. A one count again, ladies oh and gentlemen. They pulled, they pulled down their pants and they oh, no. fashion of FOW into their ass. We got another laceration, guys. Yep. Jeez. And it's just, just the beginning of the end. If he hits another RKO, it's over. It, it is downright over. It has to be. Has to be. And this oh, would be the very first the loss. Oh. This would be the oh, first loss. Moonsault oh. from Rhett's rope. The most dangerous rope of all. Oh. He's got to be thinking black mask, guys. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Black mask. There it is. One, two, three. That is it. On. Unbelievable action, guys. Alistair Black took four RKO's and is still your victor, Wayne. Oh, I know it. And, Scotty, you got to admit, uh, I didn't think this match, honestly, even though it's the main event, I didn't think it was going to surpass what Chris Stewart and Pac did. But both matches, stellar, tremendous. Not just stellar. These two men put out everything they could. This is... This is what kind of action you will see in FOW. Non-stop, full throttle, full chilling action. I mean, by God, a two face to black, <clears throat> one black mask to end this match. By God, it's it's dangerous to see what Elmister Black will do next. In a, in a, even inside a Hell in a Cell, Undertaker's playground. What, what does Almister Black have in store for The Undertaker? Uh, your guess is good as mine. Uh, Mark, uh, are you excited about that match right there? Of course, how can it not be? And if I'm The Undertaker, I, I've got to be loving this because Alistair Black is destroying himself on the road to stardom. I've got to go with The Undertaker early predictions. Alistair Black, it's just, my God, every match is worse and worse, guys. I know. It, it may be it may be causing some damage to the body, but the soul is still intact. Most definitely. But uh, we are out of time for Stalingrad. But just in a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen, it will be me and Hammers doing the prediction show for stardom. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>